For the past year, the world of NFT has received a lot of attention, which has resulted in the sale of many NFTs for millions of dollars, which has been widely reported. Mike Winkleman, one of the world's most famous artists, has sold his art collection for $69 million. It was his first piece of art, and he has sold many others before it. But this one made him one of the highest paid artists alive. There have been many NFTs that have sold for prices higher, ranging from a Dodge painting that sold for $4 million to the first tweet by the founder of Twitter which sold for $3 million and more. This piqued people's interest in what makes an NFT so valuable. Today on NFT Club, we look at the various methods for discovering genuine NFTs early on. Before we continue, kindly hit the notification button to be notified when next I post new videos. Without further ado, let's dive into it. When looking for genuine NFTs, the first thing to consider is their rarity. Because there are a limited number of certain traits in any NFT, you can see how many rarities can be incorporated into data. The rarer the trait, the better they are for few tools that you can use to determine the value of any NFT, or at the very least, it's a rarity. There's also a fantastic website called Rarity Tools, that is the market leader for determining the rarity of each NFT. It's a website where you can look up the rarity of any NFT collection or NFT from the CryptoPunks to the Bored Ape Yacht Club to any other well-known group. If you want to know how rare an NFT is, and as a result, how much it's worth, all you have to do is look it up on Rarity Tools to see how rare and valuable it is. Of course, the rarity of any NFT does not always imply a high price, but it is frequently linked. This prompts everyone to check the rarity and look for similar high or rare NFTs to see how much they are worth. There are currently about 300 collections on the website, providing people with enough data to start their NFT journey without making costly mistakes. After rarity, the community is the second most important factor, which separates a good NFT collection from a fantastic one is the community. If people believe in what you're doing and help it go viral, it will become extremely popular. CryptoPunks do not have intrinsic value, but when the community praises and popularizes them, it suddenly gains a lot of value. After all, there are plenty of projects with 500,000 followers, but only 100 genuine ones, and we don't want that to happen to us. Telegram groups, Twitter, Facebook, and any other social media accounts have its good to sign and that have a large number of users who appear to be genuine rather than bought. Social media and community are the most powerful tools any project can have. People will not only cling to their entities, but will also market for you wherever they go. You should also consider the number of NFTs that have been or will be issued. This lends credibility to projects. For example, CryptoKitties began with a small number of kittens. But as time passed, they began to distribute more and more for various reasons. And we all know how that turned out. CryptoPunks has only mined 10,000 NFTs and has stated that it will not mean more as has Board Ape Yacht Club. So, 10,000 NFT is a collection that appears to be the sweet spot for providing enough variety without overcrowding. Twitter is another good place to find out how popular something is and what people think about it. People usually talk about cryptocurrency on Twitter. We all know there are other places as well but Twitter is the most popular social media platform we use, and Reddit comes to a close second. Twitter is the most effective tool for the early detection of NFT projects because the NFT community lives on this platform. As a result, you can see what popular influencers and buyers in the space are interested in, and following this is where everyone discusses their favorite and least favorite projects, as well as what they're buying, holding, and selling accounts like Bobby Quinn. Use an analytical approach to valuing NFTs and accounts such as Basie, which have existed since the NFT craze trade. Excellent on conviction if you follow NFT influencers, you'll be able to see what they're up to and what they're looking for, which will help you to find good rare NFTs in older collections or find newer and fresher collections that may turn out to be excellent. Remember CryptoPunks first appeared in 2017 and it's been a long and winding road to where they are now, worth millions of dollars. If you know who to contact in the NFT world, they can not only help you share, but they can also help you tweet with other people under the original tweet, bringing the NFT community together. You will eventually notice that you're chatting with the same person under a variety of influencers' tweets, bringing communities together and allowing them to easily share their thoughts on NFTs. Discord is a better tool for finding hidden gems than Twitter. If you can cut through the noise, Every project, community, or influencer has its Discord server with varying levels of engagement. 
Additionally, if you can find servers with close-knit communities that discuss new projects, you will find servers like a free mint club that make announcements about new free mints. Servers are also set up for specific NFT collections. You'll also be able to connect to the BC server and communicate with people who used to make basic coins. There is also a Cool Cats section where you can talk to the Cool Cats developers. In conclusion, talking to people in your community is the best way to learn about what they're buying and selling. The best way to do this is through Discord. Another approach is to use the tools provided by OpenSea and other websites such as Twitter, Discord, and others. In OpenSea, you can find hot or trending collections and track their activity. This is a free and simple method. Locate the collection and select the activity tab. You can see how many people buy and sell a particular NFT every minute, as well as how much the average price was and who owns it and other statistics. OpenSea activity can also be manually tracked to sort by a chain. Simply choose statistics and activity from the drop-down menu. Trends or users can track high sales and recurring collections. Spend enough time with OpenSea and you'll notice almost every collection. Whales will be able to scoop up rare items from a collection to detect trends in the collection before they become popular. To see how far the community has progressed, look for recurring collections in the feed. Another way to find legitimate NFTs is to use the NFT calendar. All upcoming NFT drops can be found regularly on the NFT calendar. The website publishes a list of upcoming NFT mints and projects that have applied to be featured. All submissions are welcome to the NFT calendar. Remember that sellers can even pay to have their projects appear at the top of the search result list. This is an excellent place to start your investigation. And you can use it at any time to do your research for the week. It is completely free and always up to date. You can also use the NFT calendar to supplement your research because it displays all of the project links of each page. Users can also see how many people are responding to their tweets by visiting their Twitter profile page. A user's Discord profile can be viewed by determining the type of community to which they belong and how active they are. Another good way to find legitimate NFTs is to examine their roadmap. Almost every project has a roadmap that can be viewed by anyone. This is one of them. It contains every drop of events and important dates of the project. The most important characteristics of the successful NFT project if you are investing in a long-term project, you should look for a roadmap that includes significant long-term events. Furthermore, roadmaps with a slew of unrealistic short-term promises are red flags that are frequently used to infiltrate the price before rug pull. These assurances take the form of free airdrop tokens, benefits, and other perks. So sniffing out these red flags, usually in conjunction with an anonymous price to floor-oriented developers, is critical in locating rug pulls. A roadmap should serve as a collection guide for the future. Deciphering these guides and discovering new innovative roadmaps are also essential for identifying the most profitable NFT projects. Finally, a roadmap is typically available on the project's website or social media, and it should be one of the first things you look at before investing in a new collection. Finally, the most important aspect of locating valuable NFT projects is to investigate the project yourself. To begin, you must invest in projects that interest you. Buying what everyone else is buying or following trends will result in anxiety-induced paper hands and poor decision-making. Examine the project to see what distinguishes this collection from others on the market. Using the previously mentioned tools to see what everyone else is buying is beneficial. To make money in the market for long term, you must understand why people are buying. And that's all for today, folks. Thank you for spending some time with us. If you found this video interesting, make sure to hit the like button and the notification bell as well. And subscribe to our channel to get access to more interesting videos from us. Until next time.